The systems got tightened up, didn't they? The politicians knew that they couldn't take the mickey with putting through their expenses. I mean, that was genuinely a, a, a terrible scandal at the time, exposed by the media. Um, so, presumably, is this, is this a way that they're getting around the expenses by using these procurement cards, but being able to still be uh, quite profligate with what they're actually spending? No, no, it, it, this is actually completely different. I mean, what the, uh, what, what the, uh, what the whole expenses scandal about was actually MPs spending on their uh, parliamentary offices and constituency offices. That was a different thing. What this is, is what government ministers are spending on official trips. Now, for instance, that uh, one of the things contained there is Rishi Sunak, when he was chancellor, spent four and a half thousand pounds on a five-star hotel in Venice when he was at a G20. And that was for uh, an entourage of 11 people. Now, you may say, look, that's an, uh, that's an official trip, uh, perfectly legitimate spending. But when you get down to other areas like Liz Truss spending £1,500 on lunch in Jakarta, you could actually argue that is less so. Or £2,500 on home brewing kits, which was filed under a, a computer equipment and services. So um, it's absolutely right. All this stuff is actually published. But who, the trouble Nigel, is... Who, 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 who was spending that on a home brewing kit? That, that one passed me by know. in the detail this morning. We, we don't know that detail. All we know is that that's what the money went on, not exactly who was doing it. So uh, when, you, when you mentioned the, the trawl that Labour have, doing, uh, have been doing through FOIs mm. or parliamentary questions, they've basically identified a bit of spending, asked what it was spent on and got partial replies. So the whole system is not terribly transparent and it is actually really difficult to find on the gov.uk website. You have to know um, what you're looking for before you can actually find it. And am I right in saying that that's what one of the things that Labour are doing today is that they're launching a website today um, to, to basically track government payment card spending. Yes, that's, that's, that's it. At the moment, that they're going up to uh, 2021, which is where they've got to so far. Um, so what it is, it, it's an easy online tool where you can look up exactly who has spent, uh, spent what, uh, with which company and where. So it just makes it very easy to follow. Uh, and then Labour will start looking at more recent spending, 2022, and of course this year. So, we, obviously, they, will, will they be... Um, you see, the thing, here's the thing, Nigel. It just feels a bit... Of, of course, we think it's ridiculous if there are... Uh, the amounts that politicians would spend. Particularly, the Foreign Office, I guess, they've got diplomatic parties. They're entertaining foreign leaders. You can see how generous hospitality might start to rack up quite easily in those departments. I mean, look, it, albeit for me to, to defend this particular um, administration for transparency and using their funds wisely... But surely it makes more sense for Labour to be pushing them on the procurement of, say, PPE contracts, on some of the huge billion pound deals, on the 30 billion spent on track and trace systems, than bothering whether Rishi Sunak spent 3,000 pounds on a piece of art for government offices. Well, I mean, Labour are doing that too. So there, there's, a, there's a whole uh, lo load of um, uh, trawls looking at uh, th those very things. I mean, they've, they've been very vocal on the, the, the waste of money on PPE. This is just another example where money may or may not be being wasted. I think that the, the point really is you put the information out there and you let us decide whether you think that is legitimate spending. So if anything, this is an exercise in transparency. It doesn't mean that every single payment was unnecessary. Many of them were, but I've been following these these questions as they've been up being asked. And so, for instance, discovered that Boris Johnson, when at the end of a general of a UN General Assembly in New York, took everybody out, his entire entourage, and spent one hundred and seventy seven pounds a head on dinner. Now, is that a legitimate expense? You don't expect them to all queue up at McDonald's on an official trip. But I think that that one hundred and seventy seven pounds a head on dinner is actually excessive.